everyone. Um, I wanted to make a video about some of the foundational values of our campaign. This is the first time that we are going to be electing a mayor and some of the city representatives in November instead of in May. It is a four year term, which means we have to live with this decision for a while. The campaign that I'm running is a grassroots campaign. And I know that term is used a lot um, right now. And I wanted to explain to you what that means to me. To be a grassroots candidate means that I will be saying yes to contributions from people who believe that tax dollars should be used to benefit all of El Paso. It means saying no to people who want to buy candidates. It means saying no to people who, for their own self-interest, want to sacrifice our environment, want to destroy our historic neighborhoods, want to displace our most vulnerable homeowners and tenants. Um, I think it's time to change the rules of the game. It's time for people who are not independently wealthy to run for office. I, for one, am still a full-time lawyer. I think it's time for people who make a $5 donation to have the same voice as someone who can make a $10,000 donation. And so as part of my platform, I will be moving for campaign reform. So why am I running? Um, for years, I have wanted a mayor who I could trust, who was fearless and hardworking and who was not afraid to question the city attorney or the city manager, um, someone who understood that their decisions impacted everyday El Pasoans. Um, I have yet to see a city administration that has truly um, addressed issues that are central to my platform. And these issues include the environment and climate change, reducing property taxes, um, providing high quality basic city services like street maintenance, lighting, and parks. Um, it includes worrying about and working on affordable housing for both homeowners and tenants, um, preserving all of our historic neighborhoods, addressing the needs of low wage workers as well as people on fixed incomes, um, and the needs of people with disabilities, people in the LGBTQ community, small businesses, micro enterprises, um, immigrants, people who are homeless, animal rights, all of these issues are really central to inclusive um, and progressive economic development. Um, you might think that this is just a gimmick, that if I win, all of that will be forgotten. And I can tell you that I am the same person today that I was when I graduated from high school in terms of my values. Um, if you went to Burgess and you graduated in 1994, as I did, and you remember me, um, you can attest to this. The only thing that's changed is that I have a lot more privilege and I have more experience. But win or lose, you can trust that my commitment to economic, environmental, and social justice will not change. Win or lose, my commitment to this community will not change. So you may be wondering how you can help us. And even though we're in the middle of a pandemic and we have some stay at home orders, we are still building relationships with people in the community, including you. And so please follow us on social media and then ask 10 of your friends to follow us. Sign up on our website for volunteer opportunities and um, send a text to 10 of your friends saying you support me for mayor and the reason why and share our website with them and then follow up with them to see if they're registered to vote, to see if they're gonna vote and see if they wanna vote for me. Please email us if you have any questions or concerns, we'd love to hear from you. And I really appreciate your time and I hope that you and your family are staying safe and healthy and calm. Thank you.